Ever wondered why achieving a high score in Eelt's listening test seems so elusive? It's a question that has left many scratching their heads. One of the most common culprits behind this conundrum? Spelling mistakes. Yes, you heard it right. Spelling errors in the listening section of the Eelt's test are more common than you might think, and they can significantly impact your overall score. You see, the challenge lies not just in understanding the spoken English, but also in spelling the words correctly. Think about it. Even native English speakers occasionally trip over the complex labyrinth that is English spelling. Words that sound the same can be spelled differently, and some letters remain silent. With all these complexities, it's no surprise that spelling poses such a challenge in the ELTS listening test. Understanding and avoiding these spelling pitfalls can significantly improve your IELTS listening test score. Stay tuned as we tackle this issue head-on and help you navigate through the common spelling culprits. So what are these common spelling mistakes that sneak into your IELTS listening test answers? Well, let's uncover these sneaky culprits one by one. First off, we have the confusion between similar sounding words. It's so easy to mishear effect for affect or compliment for compliment. These words sound almost identical, but their spelling and meanings are quite different. Effect is spelled with an E and usually means a result, while affect begins with an A and often refers to influencing something. Compliment with an E means something that completes or goes well with something else, while compliment with an I is a kind expression of praise or admiration. Next, let's look at plurals. When we are in a hurry, it's easy to miss the S at the end of words. For instance, you might write child when the correct answer is children. It is crucial to pay attention to the context, as it can often give you a clue about whether a singular or plural form is needed. Then, we have the notorious homophones, words that sound the same but have different meanings and spellings. There, there, and there are classic examples. There refers to a place, there is a possessive pronoun, and there is a contraction of they are. Another common mix-up is its and its. Its is possessive like its color, while its is a contraction of it is or it has. Finally, let's not forget about the tricky words with silent letters. Words like knee, gnome, honest, and psychology can really throw you off. Remember, the K in knee is silent, just like the G in gnome, the H in honest, and the P in psychology. With these common culprits in mind, you are better equipped to tackle the IELTS listening test. So keep your ears sharp and your spelling sharper. Spelling mistakes can be a silent score killer in your IELTS listening test. We've traversed through the perilous realm of common spelling errors that can potentially sabotage your performance. Remember, the key is to remain vigilant and attuned to these usual suspects. Words like necessary, accommodation, and maintenance might seem benign, but they have the power to sway your scores in a direction you'd rather not go. Now, how do we tackle these silent assassins? The answer is twofold, careful listening and relentless practice. You see, there's a rhythm to language, a pattern in the chaos, and if you listen carefully enough, you'll catch it. Practice spelling these words, write them, type them, engrave them into your memory. So, stay attentive, practice your spelling, and watch your ILTS listening test scores climb. Until next time, keep practicing and good luck.